हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग वेल वंस अगेन वेलकम टू ज्योग्राफी क्लास आई एम इंद्राणी मैम योर ज्योग्राफी टीचर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ज्योग्राफी दैट इज ओरिजिन ऑफ द अर्थ नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास द नो बडी कैन प्रेडिक द एक्चुअल रीजन वॉकिंग बिहाइंड द ओरिजिन ऑफ द अर्थ बट the scientist or several scientists they are working in this matter so on the basis of the different work of the scientist we came to know certain important things regarding this topic on the basis of this in your syllabus there are some theories or hypothesis present we need to learn this one by one So today I am going to start with a new topic that is planet decimal hypothesis that was propounded by Chamberlain and Moulton in the year of 1904 Now why it is known as a hypothesis hypothesis means the theory which is completely based on a certain assumption as i told you that the whole universe is very mysterious nobody can actually predict what is going on there that's why the scientists they have started working on this matter and they assume something and on the basis of this assumption we can still study several types of theories so what is planetesimal planetesimal means the small and tiny particles which is behaving like a planet in this space So let's move on to this topic. According to Chamberlain and Moulton, they assume that in the space there are two types of heavenly bodies present. One is known as our original sun or proto sun, and another one that is companion star. Companion star. So there were only two heavenly bodies. present in this space now if you look at this picture see the companion star is far bigger than the proto sun and proto sun is generally smaller than the companion star as the size of this companion star is bigger than the proto sun another important feature of the companion star is its mass as well as the weight was also very high so when a object will have more weight and more mass then what will happen it will have the more gravitational pull also now chamberlain he got the inspiration of this two heavenly bodies why because when he studied the entire space he experienced some flying materials or some flying nuclei which is spherical in their shape in this space in this topic i can i want to tell you something that this proto sun it was also in spherical shape and it is composed sorry it was composed of some small and tiny solid particles after the time passed what happened the companion star it came closer to the proto sun and when it came closer to the proto sun due to the huge gravitational pull of this companion star and the eruptive tendencies in her rent in the proto sun lead to the massive absorption of some small and tiny particles from the outer body of the sun got ejected from the outer body of the sun what did i say that it started revolving around the sun and after so many years they have scattered into the space and this scattered small particles they were known as planetesimals according to chamberlain he termed this word planetesimal okay and when they were scattered into the space after the cooling and solidification they started cool down and then they became the solid particle that is known the planets okay the same process also worked on this planet and like this the small satellites they have also came out from the planet and they started revolving around the planet so this is the whole theory 
of Chamberlain and Moulton. But they also stated or asserted a one important thing that this planetesimals was not evenly at all distributed and the shape of the tiny particles was not same. That's what the planets in our solar system, all of these have not the same shape. Did you understand? Okay. So this is all about the planetesimal hypothesis which was derived by Moulton and Chamberlain. In the next class, I am going to discuss about the tidal hypothesis by Jeans and Jeffries. Till then, thank you and take care.